Welcome to my kitchen. So today what I'm going to do is I have a HelloFresh recipe here, but I haven't seen the recipe itself, just the ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a dish and then I'm going to compare my recipe with the HelloFresh recipe at the end. We'll see how we do. All right, guys, so here are the ingredients for this recipe. It looks like we are starting off with a portion of ground beef. We've got some Tuscan heat spice, which has garlic, basil, rosemary, red pepper, ground fennel, and oregano. I've got a little portion of what looks to be like chicken demi, chicken sauce, chicken bouillon, something like that. I have a small onion, two green peppers, a small Roma tomato, some mozzarella, some shredded mozzarella cheese, two tablespoons of tomato paste, and some Israeli couscous. So looking at these ingredients, um, I'm definitely getting Italian, obviously from the Tuscan herb. Um, I'm thinking that maybe it's leading towards um, a, like a, maybe like a, a meat sauce, like maybe like a bolognese or something really hearty. There's not tomato sauce, there's just tomato paste. So it's not going to be like a marinara type of like very uh, saucy sauce. It would be a lot thicker and richer. Um, and then I was thinking that the the aromatics here with the the um, onion and the peppers and the tomatoes probably going to support the sauce and give it a little bit of extra uh, flavor and texture and things like that. I think the direction that I'm wanting to go is I'm going to make a meatball. So I'm going to use the ground beef and the spice probably some of the onion grated to make a, a meatball with the mozzarella cheese. So we'll do like a, mozzarella, like a cheesy meatball. I'll cook that off and then in the pan I will add the rest of the ingredients, the chopped bell pepper and the tomato and the remaining onion as well as this chicken demi to make um, a sauce. And then the Israeli couscous, I'm assuming, just is uh, going to be on its own. So this will kind of be what the meatball is served on top of um, with that sauce. So I'm going to dice up my pepper. I'm going to dice up my tomato. I'm going to dice up half of this onion. I'm going to use half of this onion grated in the ground beef. Now, if I were making a meatball on my own, I would probably add in like some sort of binder. So uh, like egg or flour. Something like that, which suggests to me that this is not supposed to be a meatball because I think they would include that. I don't think HelloFresh includes anything, or they don't require you to add in anything that you wouldn't, that they don't include in the kit. So I don't think that it's supposed to be a meatball, but I'm going to do that because that sounds really good to me. So I'm going to start prepping my vegetables. prepped here with the mozzarella cheese on the inside. Um, I grated up half of that onion in there mixed with a Tuscan herb spice, uh, a little bit of salt because the herb mix does not have any salt in it, a little bit of salt in there, and then I just stuffed each meatball with the mozzarella cheese. So here I've got my pan going with a little bit of vegetable oil and it's heating up. So I'm planning on searing the meatballs um, all the way around and then I'll take them out and let them 
hang out while I make my sauce and then they'll cook the rest of the way in the sauce. In general, I'm gonna try not to add anything that wasn't included in the day's recipe. However, I am including, I'm gonna add in just a little bit of red wine to create my sauce because I just happen to have some red wine on hand. So it feels like my pan is nice and hot. Salt and pepper. Breaking up the orange bits there. Brown bits, I should say. Next, I'm going to add in the tomato paste, and I'm going to brown that up just a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to add in my fresh tomatoes. I left the seeds in because I want a lot of that water content. Hit it with a little more salt. Smelling pretty good. It looks like everything is starting to cook down a bit. Turn up the heat just a touch. And then I'm going to deglaze with my red wine. Just put back over here. Alright, there we go. Red wine. alcohol cook off.
All right, now I'm gonna add in about a cup of water. And I'm also gonna add in my chicken demi, I think. Chicken pion. I'm not sure what that would be called. Glass. Okay, I'm gonna stir that up. I'm gonna bring it up to a bubble. Start kind of reducing it down. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and start my couscous, my Israeli couscous. Uh, so for the half a cup of couscous, I have three-fourths of a cup of water. I'm gonna bring that up to a boil. down. Alright, I'm going to turn the heat down. I'm going to nestle my meatballs back in. We'll go cheese side down. All right, we'll let that cook. We'll check back in in a couple minutes. All right, so we are back. Meatballs are done. Cheese leaked out a little bit, but it's okay because I turned it over and you can't even tell. Uh, here I have the Israeli couscous right in there. I'm going to take three of these guys. Top it with a little basil, some fresh basil that we happen to have here. There we go. All right, let's see how it is. So here we have our cheesy Tuscan meatballs with uh, couscous and the tomato sauce to give it a taste. Sauce is good, super cheesy. All right, so here's the reveal. Here's what the recipe actually is. T uh, Tuscan beef stuffed peppers. Interesting. Um, I was wondering why there were so many peppers. I, was, I thought that that was a lot of peppers for the sauce. In fact, I thought of maybe putting some of the peppers in with the beef meatballs. But that is very interesting. I think that also um, kind of explains why there is uh, so little couscous. It's not really enough to be a side. Um, it's not enough to really soak up the sauce. So that makes sense too. So um, here, for the serving of two people, each person gets three meatballs. Whereas here, they would get like a whole pepper themselves. So uh, interesting. All right, so that is our recipe for today. Join me next time. I'm going to do another recipe. I'm going to do it totally blind, where I won't even know what the ingredients are. And we will see how that turns out. Thanks.